Hey guys, Panama1 here for Games Recreate, and today I'm going to be playing Zelda Phantom Hourglass for the DS. Hope you like the layout of my DS emulator. It's like two screens on the side instead of one above the other. I thought it would be easier for you guys to see, or else you'll just have this big stretched video in the middle, and then like big black lines on the side, which are the same width as the video, which is kind of stupid. So I hope this like fills the screen better for you to see. And it just, yeah, I just thought it was generally easier. Uh, so yeah, the last Zelda game I played was Minish Cap, and that was about three, four months ago. I completed that, it was a good series. And um, this is the sequel to Wind Waker, the Nintendo GameCube Zelda game. Like, cartoon Zelda one. There's also Ocarina of Time that was released for it. And I think another one, but I forgot. But yeah, this is my favourite DS one. There's only two at the moment. Phantom Hourglass and the one after, Spirit Tracks, which I might play if you guys like this series. Um, so yeah, it's for the Nintendo DS. It will require a mic. Like a DS mic. So I'm hoping my headset will work for that. If not, I'll have to either cheat my way around, use a hack or something, or stop recording, which will be a bit of a pain. So yeah, let's just see how this goes. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed playing Minish Cap, which was for the Game Boy Advance. Um, and you guys seem to like it, got quite a lot of views. I did like a 30 part series or 20 part. And uh, yeah, I had a little trouble with audio for the final boss battle. But it worked out fine. I'll, I can just re-record this one. Because it's for DS, so I can just save state. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to start playing. Yup, yup. So my name is P E N, and because it's for the DS, I can use the mouse for the touchscreen. But it's only this like left, this right half, which is the touchscreen for the DS. So yeah, do you hold the stars in your right or left hand? Right, right hand. Yes. Okay, let's start. Adventure mode. Oh, cutscene. Got to be quiet.
Okay guys, so um, basically if you skipped that little cutscene, which I put a link in for, uh, basically, Link, main hero, dressed in green, went with these pirates on an adventure. One of them, the pirate leader, was called Tetra. She turned out to be the princess, the long descendant of Princess Zelda of Hyrule. Um, and she got kidnapped by an evil king called Ganon, or Ganondorf. Um, Link went on this big adventure, killed many monsters, gained their power, and eventually defeated Ganon and saved the princess. The end. And then they went on another adventure at the end. To find new lands. Link and the pirate crew. crew with, I uh, guess her name's Zelda now? Yeah, they all saved and went on a big adventure thing. So here we are. There's a pirate guy holding out cutouts. Apparently they're paper cutouts. They looked more like felt. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> what did you think? Did you guess that she was really Princess Zelda? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, Pen, are you sleeping? No. Well, I guess I am, actually. <laughs> That's me. So, pen, pen. Yes. Ah, oh, it is Tetra. Not Zelda. Damn it. She looks much better as Zelda. Damn it. Yeah, here we go. Stop messing around down there. We're both supposed to be on the lookout. <laughs> Tired. Ha, <laughs> some legendary hero you are. Who'd believe you saved me from the evil king? Zelda, we're nearly at that spot in the sea. That spot? Told you not to call me Zelda. Take your wife just fine before, you know. <laughs> Enough about that. That's where the ghost ships are meant to appear. Stay on the lookout for a creepy ship. Are you sure this is a good idea? What about all the ships that have gone missing? I say the ghost ship is behind all of it. That's right, Nico. Every ship disappears. It's all because of that scary ghost ship. G g ghost? Hey, Tetra, they say these seas are protected, yeah? Something about a spirit called the Ocean King. Wouldn't a spirit like that protect the ships? Unless there really is a ghost ship. Don't be ridiculous. No such thing as a ghost ship. But it's just some pirates up to no good. Wait, if we're searching for a ghost ship, and she doesn't believe in it, and she's the pirate captain, doesn't that mean this is all a big piece of <gasps> shit? Waste of time. Here we go. <laughs> hey, look, the air feels chilly. Eerie, even. I say we take a detour around this place. Quit being scared. We're, not here. We're here to see the world, not take detours. Ship a Tetra. I can see a ship. Yeah, a ship. Up ahead. Always have a pirate, it's just a ship. But it does look like it'd be a ghost ship. Maybe there's treasure. And yoink. How'd she make that jump? It's like insane. And now she's been kidnapped. Uh. <laughs> and it just rides off. It's not really pen, it's the ink. 
so it's Link, Link. Why Link anyway? That's like the weirdest name ever. I can't remember when this when Zelda came out. I think it was like 1992 or something like that. It's been a while. It's probably out before I was born, 1995. So, uh, yeah, why did it come up with that name? Is it like a, a popular name in the 1990s? Or something? I don't know. But yeah, here we are. With some weird fairy. Uh, hey, hey, listen, listen. Shut up. I tell you. If it keeps saying hey, I am going to turn it off. I'm just going to mute the bloody game. You weren't moving, so I thought you were done for. <laughs> I look high. <laughs> Looks like you're going to be A OK. I'm Sierra. I'm a fairy. I'm flying around to find you here. What happened? Well, I, I don't talk. So, um. Huh? Oh, apparently I do. I say, huh? That's all I can say. And. Oh, and when I sideways jump, I go. Hut, 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 hut. <laughs> what? A ghost ship? A friend was taken away by a ghost ship? How do you know this? I can't talk. Oh, I suppose it's like telepathy? <laughs> you want to know more? Grandpa will know about it. I lost my memory a long time ago. When I woke up on this beach, Grandpa rescued me. Just like me, except I have my memory. It's very sweet, see, but nothing to worry about. A house is up there. Just something about the beach. Away from the beach. Okay. It's pretty simple to get to. Oh, can you walk? Tap the direction you want to move with your status. Or, in my case, mouse. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Uh, in the next episode, if you want, I can turn the mouse off. So you see the fairy walk, fairy moving around instead. Uh, it might be a bit easier for you. Okay, so you click to pick up pots. And then click where you want to throw them. Simple. Click to interact. So yeah, you've got the map on the left, which would be the top screen. Hello, traveller. So your name is Pen. I am Oshus, and I live on this island. Oshus. Sierra told me all about what happened to you. I also hear your friend was taken by a ghost ship. Yeah. I understand you want to find the ghost ship, but you must not. But why? What are you saying? Pen's friend was carried away. No. Pure evil fills the sails of the ghost ship. It roams the seas in search of victims to capture. No one has ever escaped from it. It's best if you stay away. No, to seek out your that ship is to seek out your doom. That's why we have to do something, Grandpa. Name, 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 name. Stupid fairy. Oh, mercy. Hmm. You're not going to give up, are you? <laughs> yes. So I am going to give up. Yeah, people. Ah, jealous. There's a port to the east. A sailor by the name of Linebeck should be there. He'll tell you. Look at your map. It's here. You mean that guy who came to visit? He asked about the ghost ship. I remember him. <gasps> I'll go with Pan and show him what to do. Blah, 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 blah. It's okay, right? Yes, I don't see why not. I'm sure you can help. Well, yeah, she is my cursor. <laughs> Yay, happy fairy. Thank you, let's go. Sparkles. Always been antsy. How does antsy mean? Hmm. Lately, there's been monster sightings. Okay. Walk into his house, break all his pots. <laughs> all right. If I remember, go this way. Oh. What's that rumbling? Another earthquake? So many quakes lately. Oh, yeah, you go this way. And this guy tells you that the bridge is out. Or oh, it's a woman? I don't know. So yeah, that last quake broke the bridge. And the second way to get there, to get to the town, is up here. Through this cave to the northwest. Alright. 
uh... Ooh, read the sign. Why are we walking so slow? Danger, monsters ahead. Alright. Can I run past him? No, no. Monsters, look out! We need to go back. Oh. So I need something to defend myself with. Oh yeah, you like um, you sort of spin the, the mouse to roll. That's really weird. Okay, try the path north. Don't forget why I told you. Blah blah blah. Um, uh, I'm sure someone will be around to protect to repair the bridge. Or I can just go this way. If only you find a sword. Then you could defeat them. Oh look, a cave. <laughs> Secret cave. What does it say? Grandpa uses this cave as storehouse. I think I remember Grandpa storing a sword back there. Now how to get it open? I remember he cracks open the door by writing a number. It's the number of palm trees on the beach. Okay. Go cut the trees. Right, palm trees. So if we start from like the southeast and work our way along. Uh, start from the very corner in case there's one hidden. Okay. Menu. Map. So yeah, you can just like draw on the map. Which is pretty cool. You can mark symbols and stuff. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Just mark these. Two, three, four. There we go. And any more? No, just seven. Oh, hello. I forgot about this other hand. This other place. Just tap on people to speak to them. Had a bit of bad luck. Okay. So the earthquake made rocks appear everywhere. And he wants me to clear them up. Okay. This gives me some rupees anyway. Yeah. Now if I talk to him... Thanks, you helped me out. Not much, but have this. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> One green rupee. What's with the dead look? Think I'm cheap? Okay. Look at your map, there's a tree. Bash it really hard. Okay. While he's talking, I can mark it. Okay, it's got a circle. Circles mean hit, so bash. Okay. Um, so, seven. Quick, quick. As soon as I get a sword, I can end it. End the episode. Run, run. Okay. Let me. Let me actually write on it. Here we are. Right. Keep your hands off my things, please. Ask first. Oh, just seven. Yeah, it worked. Let's have a look. Do 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 do. You got Ashes' sword. You found a sword. Probably shouldn't tell Grandpa. So yeah, you like spin around you to just spin attack. He <laughs> does he? Then think you like slice forward to to do a stab. And then you can hit. Go on, had to do a slash. Oh, you like drag down. I mostly do stabs, but yeah. Using the stalk. Tapping and drawing lines is the quick way to do sword play. So, drag forward and backwards. Yeah, you like drag towards the enemy to do slashes. Tap towards you to do like overhead slashes. And spin in circles to do things. Yeah, okay, I've got it. 
Oh. You two have proven to be quite happy. Is that not my sword? What you plan on doing with it? Sorry, we just had to. We just can't get past the bridge. We have to blah blah blah. I'll show you how to use it. Okay. Weird old guy. So you have a sword? Blah blah blah. Let's begin with the target attack. Tap a target to lock in and close on the attack. Okay, I'll probably use that mostly. You just click on them. <laughs> Side slash. Okay, so we go. Okay. Spin attack. Slide in a circle. Been too far away. Yeah, like a boss. Okay, I can teach you nothing more. But if you do have any problems, come talk to me. So if yeah, if you learn the base, if you forget the basics, you've talked to him. <laughs> oh no, I've forgotten how to swim. Oh, stupid thing. Okay, so now we can go this way. But first, I am going to save. Yeah. So complete. Okay, it's been 22 minutes, so I should probably end it for a first episode. Even though something is slowly walking towards me. Yeah! Yeah, like a boss. Uh, so yeah, until next time, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy this series. Or what it will be, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, I love Zelda, so I will hopefully make this as entertaining as possible. Wild. Yeah. I haven't played this specific one in a while, so it might be a bit rusty. Um, so yeah. Until next time. Bye bye.